average American drinks about three cups of coffee a day, leaving behind tons of gr coffee ground waste each year. Now in Britain, they're turning that waste into biofuels that help run some of London's famous double-decker buses. Terry Okita has more from London. At coffee shops and cafes around the UK, more than 500,000 tons of coffee ground waste gets tossed into landfills each year. Now, a company called BioBean believes its green idea can help power London's iconic red buses. We make it the coffee oil, which is then blended and turned into uh, biodiesel by our partner, Argent Energy. The company's biofuel blend, called B20, is made up of 80% mineral fuel and a 20% oil component from the coffee waste. This week, London's transport system rolled out plans to run some of its buses with the B20 blend. The amount of fuel specifically we're producing is enough to power um, about 365 buses for, for the day. BioBean says its fuel blend can be used without altering bus engines, gas tanks, or the factories where coffee waste is recycled. While BioBean claims it's the first company in the world to do this type of recycling, it's not the only one testing the efficiency of coffee waste. Scientists at England's Lancaster University have created a one step method of turning spent coffee grounds into biofuel. Before, the process took two steps. When we couple two operations in one single step, we uh, usually uh, get a lower uh, processing cost. These researchers say their fuel has the potential to go directly into gas tanks or more likely be blended in with other biofuels. Terry Okita, CBS News, London. The BioBean company recycles used grounds from some of the UK's biggest coffee chains, as well as mom and pop cafes and businesses at all London train stations.